Secretary. Uh, 37% of Medicare Advantage beneficiaries have annual incomes below $20,000 um, annually. I represent one of the poorest congressional districts in the country. So per protecting the Medicare Advantage program for low-income beneficiaries is, is extremely important to my constituents. Um, the Medicare Advantage program offers extra financial protection, such as maximum out-of-pocket limits, extra uh, maximum out-of-pocket limits, uh, extra benefits, and care coordination activities. If plans are focused to restrict some of these benefits as a result of the funding cuts in the president's budget of, of roughly $77 billion, do you believe that these cuts could result negatively impact low-income beneficiaries who may then face higher cost out of pocket? So what we've seen in terms of the changes that we've done to date in Medicare Advantage, the program continues to grow and grow in a healthy pace. We've seen premiums uh, not have great increases and 99% of folks have access and coverage. And so in terms of what we've done to date, we have tried to take steps uh, that are in ways that will not have the kind of impact that you've described. We believe what we're proposing won't. We also know that when we compare, and this gets to the entitlement issues that we began this hearing with, it's appropriate to end here, is the issue of in a world where we know that the fee-for-service Medicare uh, recipients on a per capita basis are paying much less than these Medicare Advantage. And MedPAC and other have analyzed that there are changes that are important to saving the taxpayer money. And so we're trying to get that balance so we don't have the outcome you described. We don't want that. But also make sure that as the taxpayer's money is being used in Medicare Advantage, that it's being used wisely. So you, yes or no, do you think the $77 billion cut is going to affect um, my constituents on Medicare Advantage? No, we think that what it will do is create many of the changes we're proposing are about competition, coming back to the earlier point about markets. And so we believe that what we're proposing will not have those negative impacts. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dole, for the final question. Thank you, Mr.